Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz with a special seven day Pacific Islands forecast right around the Pacific Ocean. And we kick off here with our animated wind map, which is for Tuesday evening if you're here in Fiji or Monday evening if you're up here in Hawaii. Weather conditions at the moment, well, we're seeing a fairly strong southeasterly breeze around the South Pacific, and that's due to a lot of high pressure further south coming out of Australia and the New Zealand area. And you're going to see in the days ahead, the high pressure zone down here is going to enhance those winds. In the Northern Hemisphere, much quieter than it's been. No big uh, hurricanes out at sea at the moment. In fact, mostly just an east to northeast breeze there for Hawaii. So let's get into the forecast. We'll first of all start with the Southern Hemisphere. Here we are on Wednesday. As you can see, that east to southeast breeze blowing along through the island group and you can see showers here and there, nothing too major. The bulk of the rain further up towards the equator and you can see this massive area of high pressure. Well, that's the main controlling feature. So on Thursday, as that high moves along and balloons out a little bit more, it's going to strengthen those easterly winds and they'll pick up all the way from about Rarotonga all the way over to about New Caledonia and Vanuatu area. It sort of fades out around about there as you head off towards Australia. But it means warm weather further down for Norfolk Island and for New Zealand, that subtropical airflow starting to set in. So on Friday, here we go at the end of the week, we've got a few downpours passing Fiji. Generally speaking, not too wet out there. The high pressure zone pushing all the way up. That's the reason why you're not seeing too much in the way of rain. Even over east towards Tahiti, it's mostly dry. The wet weather is really just to the north. And we go through to Saturday, and again, that convergence zone stays to the north of most of the islands, Samoa right on the edge of it. But this high pressure zone is quite a big one, and it is pushing all the way up. And so that's why the easterly wind does start to pick up. And interestingly, here on Sunday, Another high pressure zone coming out of Australia. Well, that will start to drop your temperatures. So uh, for around about Sunday, Monday, if you're in places like Noumea or up here in uh, Port Vila, you'll notice just a couple of degrees down on your temperatures as that southerly flow from out of the Tasman and the New Zealand area moves in. Not the same for Fiji though, still warm and hot and humid for you. And then we kick off next week and you can see that southerly flow right into Vanuatu, right into New Caledonia. So your temperatures will be down a couple of degrees day and night, and your humidity will be down just a little bit as a result of that southerly going around that high. But the other high, that's still encouraging the easterlies and part of that rain that's uh, coming into New Zealand for the weekend. So that's the uh, southern hemisphere, and we've got an animation for the week ahead. And the reason why I want to show you this, here's Honolulu and Hawaii, there's no real change. You just see those easterly winds all week and showers, they might uh, pick up a little bit those winds for a time. And just like the Southern Hemisphere, it's due to a high pressure zone nearby squeezing up those easterly winds. Before I go, this is a really good way of seeing how the actual week is, is sort of laying out because plenty of showers across uh, you know this part of the world, across the tropics. And so when you see them building up, that's when you start to get the picture going on. So what you see here is around the Cook Islands, mostly dry. The pale blue at the bottom of the scale, so only a couple of millimetres. Same story in Tahiti, most of the rain just to the north, and a similar story around Samoa. So the heavy rain, the 100 millimetres plus, that is north of most of the tropical islands, and over only really the eastern side of Fiji, seeing about 50, 60 millimetres over the next several days ahead. Most of the islands aren't too wet, although the Solomons have a fair bit of rain coming through thanks to the tropical convergence zone. That's all for me. We'll be back again next week with another seven day outlook for the Pacific Islands. Thanks for supporting these extra videos we're doing uh, through the month of September. Our normal New Zealand Australia video, that's back tomorrow, Wednesday. We'll see you then.